Salutations, friends. It's your pal, said Stevie, and I'm still living the hotel life, just like I uh, mentioned in my previous video uh, that posted. I'm on the road traveling for work this week, but uh, I brought my gear with me, and I'm trying to make some videos while I have the time. Uh, it seems like when I'm at home, I'm having less and less time uh, to do stuff, so... Got nothing else going on, so why not uh, film some stuff? And today, I got a couple of Civivis in from the Apex Pass Around group. Uh, shout out to the Apex Pass Around group. Uh, appreciate being uh, part of it. Uh, it's cool to be able to get a knife that I wouldn't typically uh, just pick up for myself to check out. And uh, I'm able to handle them. See if it's something that I'm interested in, and I'll let you folks know what I think about it. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to switch to uh, top down now. I haven't quite mastered the art of switching back and forth like this, but I kind of like doing it like this. I like uh, giving you guys a little taste of my ugly mug, and then uh, going top down. So. Uh, first one, and I got to point this out uh, to the Apex group, uh, the box came damaged. Um, it showed up. Uh, I don't think the person that sent it damaged it. My, my, uh, my little mailman uh, damaged it. Uh, but this is the Civivi Odd 22, and this is the Civivi Button Lock Elementum 2. Uh, pretty stoked to get into that one. Uh, but let's get into this Odd 22 first. I don't know a lot about this knife. I do know uh, that it is a tough uh, knives design. I think this is based on a custom that they uh, did, or that he did. Uh, Jeff, I, it's a Jeff, a G off uh, spelling. I know that, I don't know a lot about tough knives, but I did a little bit of research, not much, but uh, I, I'm aware of tough knives and hoodles. But yeah, this is the Civivi Odd 22 in uh, Damascus, and I can't pronounce this wood. Quibortia? Uh, Quibortia? I'm not even going to pretend to say it. It's wood. Yeah, uh, first impressions, uh, it's, it's rather light, actually. I expected it to be a little bit heavier. Um, yeah. Uh, not looking too shabby. Uh, you got the Damascus blade, all black uh, hardware and pivots. And I'm assuming pocket clip. Yep. So uh, let's give this. Okay. So we have a flipper, thumb stud. Uh, let's just give it a middle finger flick. Boom. Wow. Snappy detent. Okay. So uh, this is what they are calling a hand rubbed uh, Damascus. Uh, not too shabby on the pattern. I do not know what the uh, composition of the Damascus is. I think in the past I've heard that they use 9CR and something else. But that I don't know. They're just calling it a uh, hand rub Damascus. Uh, nice. Uh, is this a clip point style blade? I'm going to assume that that's a clip point style blade. But I think I saw that this was a 2.96 inch uh, blade. 4.17 on the uh, handle length for an overall length of, I think, right around, uh, what was it? 4.17 on the handle, uh, 2.97 on the blade, 7.13. There it is. I had my uh, specs off camera. And it is a clip point. Okay. I was right. I actually did guess on that. And I was right. But uh, you got a nice uh, swedge there. Uh, crown spine. You see the uh, thumb stud there. Uh, standard captured uh, Civivi logo pivots. Again, the Queef Burrito uh, wood scales there, or whatever it's called. Uh, a couple of uh, looks to be T8s on the pivot here on the body screws. Nice job on that. I do think that Civivi does, uh, and we do their screws really well um hello hello looks like it's smiling or singing a song Ooh. 
Sorry, folks, getting a little goofy. Uh, let's see. No backspacer, open construction. Uh, just some standoffs there. You got a loop over deep carry pocket clip. Flush fitting screws. However, they are not milled into the scale. So uh, by the looks of it, this has been pocketed a fair amount. Got a couple of rub spots there. So know that that's going to happen. Uh, one more uh, body screw. Oh, it looks like that's going to be reversible. So there you go. You got a reversible uh, pocket clip. Uh, T8, I'm assuming, on the pivot. And then there you go. There's the Tough Knives logo on the clip side of the clip point to bleed. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Okay, liner lock. Yep. Uh, liner lock here. Uh, ceramic bearings. Let's check the action. Not bad at all. Uh, flipper tab. I like the detent on this. It's uh, it's not super snappy, but uh, it's much more dialed in, I think, for the studs. For sure, than it is on the flipper tab. Yeah, I can fail it on the flipper tab. Not so much on the uh, studs there. So, but I, I like this detent. It's not overly snappy, but it, uh, it does come out uh, fairly simple. Easy access to the uh, liner lock. I do like that when Civivi jimps their uh, liners. They do that really well, I think. So, uh, not too shabby. Um, this is coming in at 95 bucks though, for this model. I think the other ones in G10 and 14C are coming in like at 60, some, 61 to $65. Um, there's one on Amazon that I'll have linked. It's my affiliate link. Uh, for you folks to use if you want to pick one up but uh yeah so far uh not too shabby again not so much uh this model or this variant for me i'm not a fan of uh the damascus and uh the wood is fine though i don't mind the the, the what did i call it the cleef burrito uh wood that's not too shabby but yeah anywho let's get on to the elementum uh Button lock part D. So uh, both of these obviously come in the standard Civivi uh, pouches. I need to keep track of these, make sure they're going in the right ones. There we go. And uh, here we go. I expect this to be exactly what I'm already can tell. This is just an Elementum button lock done right this time. The first Elementum button lock, uh, not so good. It was a button lock only, and then may I think maybe they did a revision of it, but this is just a Elementum that you know and you either love or you don't love. I happen to love the Elementum uh, with a good button lock as opposed to a uh, liner lock. So. Um, let's give it, uh, oh, you know what I can, I, I figured out I can do after someone pointed it out. Let's see if I can do it. I think I can middle finger flip this. Boom. I can. Ooh, the detent is, wow. Ooh, and listen, nice. It's got some good acoustics to it. Um, yeah, this is good. I like this. Uh, good access uh, to the button. I got no stick whatsoever. It wants to fall shut. Yeah. Uh, this I like. I can already tell my first impressions of it are good. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a fan of the Elementum. The only one I have in my collection currently is the Dessert Warrior. I no longer carry it, but it is a knife that I do recommend to people. And I've bought probably, I don't know, 10 or so over the last three years as gifts for non-knife people. Uh, I just think it's a good, uh, size, um, easy to, uh, carry knife. And so, uh, I guess specs, you guys already all know the specs. Uh, this is a three point, or excuse me, 2.97 inch, uh, blade. you got a 4.11, uh, inch handle, uh, for an overall length at 7.06. Uh, ergos are good. Uh, you can uh, choke up into there. Jimping is good. Um, yeah, uh, you got a spot uh, for doodad if you want it. Was there one on here? 
No, I guess uh, there's kind of a lanyard post on there. Um, but yeah, uh, again, either you like the element or you don't. Uh, this is one of those knives that everybody has, kind of similar to a penguin or a rat or two. They're very uh, similar in size, uh, the three of those. I'll probably do a comparison um, when I do my final uh, take on this knife, but I might not even do a final take. Uh, everything you need to know about this knife is, I've just kind of said, it's a button lock uh, done right elementum. If you like the elementum uh, and you want it in a button lock, here you go, man. Um, this is good. This is good. I wasn't sure uh, if I would like it or not. If they were gonna, if they had made any changes, I don't think I was gonna like it because I like my elementum as is. But I would say uh, this gets two thumbs up for sure in any variation. I wouldn't get this variation. Uh, oh, by the way, they're using Nitro V on the steel on these. I do remember that. Did it say that somewhere on there? Uh, or I think it said it on the box. Uh, Nitro V uh, is on the stone washed uh, blade there. But so, yeah, uh, I don't, I'll bet that, you know, unlocked composites will probably end up making some scales for these. Right now it's just G10. Uh, Nitro V on the steel, though, that's an upgrade uh, to um, the Elementum as a, from D2. I know they've done some S35 VN Elementums, but I think Nitro V uh, G10, these are coming in at, uh, on Amazon at least, for uh, 65 bucks. This is a good deal, folks. I think that that's a good deal for this. Definitely. I can recommend this knife. Uh, I can recommend this too. Uh, you know, this one isn't bad either. But uh, let's say that this was the same variant that is similar in uh, cost. So 61 versus 65. If this was the D2 14C, I would recommend this one, uh, the button lock over the odd, or the Elementum 2 button lock over the odd 22. Very similar in size though, right? I think almost identical in size. So there you go, folks. Uh, look at two new to me Civitis. I don't know how long these have been out. I don't think very long at all, but uh, yeah, not too shabby. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You like the uh, tough knives designed odd 22? You like the uh, uh, Elementum button lock from this side? I don't think you can tell that it's a button lock. It just looks like a regular Elementum. And that's what I like about it. I did not like that redesigned uh, Elementum button lock that they did that was the button for deployment only. This is good. No button stick. No, uh, doesn't change the ergos or anything. So I guess if you don't like the Elementum, you're not going to like it in a button lock. But if you do like the Elementum, I think that it's a more enjoyable knife in the uh, butt mark. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anywho, let me switch back around to uh, being from that position. So, what do you guys think? I like the Elementum butt mark, as you may or may not have uh, picked up already. So that's all I got for you folks. Um, if you haven't done so already, please consider giving the video thumbs up uh, or a thumbs down. If you like it, let me know why. If you don't like it, let me know why. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? Throw me a bone. I'm not gonna beg for subs, I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, I would appreciate uh, the video that pops up in the corner here, what, one of these corners. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, uh, please consider uh, checking that out and giving that a like if you like it. But that's all I got for you folks. Until the next one, I bid you mofos, aduces.